Hello to all my lively ladies, you're very welcome back. My name is Trish and you're very welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to do our weight loss cardio and these are our low impact fat burning exercises. Now I'm just getting going with my warm up here, so join in when you're ready. I'm just doing a step touch, so just drawing one foot over to meet the other and I have my arms going as well. Now I'm doing some hammer curls here, tucking my elbows into my side just getting the heart rate up, slight bend in the knee, just to take some pressure off the knee joints. That's good. Now I want you to keep going with that. I'm going to press the timer and we get going straight away. So keep moving. Okay. So back into step touch for me. Make sure you have everything handy now before you start. If you want to use some dumbbells, I have mine handy here. Um, that's an option though. You can use water bottles if you don't have any dumbbells. And I have my chair just for if in case you need for balance and also a towel and some water. Okay, so let's keep going. Every time you hear the beep, we'll change them up the move. Now we're going to double up this step touch. So these are single step touches. So we're going to double them up as soon as we hear the beep. Good. We can take this into a little bicep curl if you like. Just switching it up. That's it. Keep going. Well done. Good few seconds to go now and we'll double this up. I'll just show you a double up while you're you're doing your single. So it's just the same thing, just doubled over. Okay, I'm going to stay with it. You join in when you're ready. When you hear that beep, good. You've only a few seconds. Get ready now. Double. Over and over. That's all over and over. Now, if the arms are confusing you, just leave them out, okay? Just rest your hands on your hips because I know this move is a little bit uh, challenging okay the coordination is a bit on the challenging side but if you can get them going so we're working for intervals today of 55 seconds with just a very quick transition of five seconds so very little rest and that'll keep your heart rate elevated it'll keep you warm it'll get, allow you to get lots of steps into your workout as well that's it keep going we've got 20 seconds left over and over over and over you can change up the arms <coughs> excuse me and we can pull back get some face pulls in they're great for your posture you can leave out the arms if they're you're finding them a little bit tricky because it's important to keep the legs going i'm going to go into a lateral walk next after we okay so march it out just a quick rest lateral walk over we go now i want you to step back here for four two more and over and over and one two three and four and over and over and one two three four you getting your heart rate up yeah starting to get a little bit warm one two three and four and over we go over and one two three and four and if you want to bring in a little bit of impact you can jump it over one two three and four like a shuffle type move okay one two three four next move now i'm going to do some body weight swing so you know kettlebell swing very popular exercise or dumbbell swing you can use a dumbbell if you don't have a kettlebell it's coming up in the workout today okay body weight swing now go sideways for you straight back okay so straighten the back, fire off with your hips. Really important that you, that this is a hip exercise, it's a hip dominant exercise. The upper body is not really involved. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're bending slightly at the waist and then firing off with the hips. And you keep your back nice and straight. Squeeze your glutes as your hips come forward. That's it. And you snap out the knees a little bit. Don't worry, you won't hurt your knees. Use those quad muscles, contract your quad muscles, your thigh muscles, stick your bum back, fire off. And then once you're comfortable with the move, you can actually speed it up. That's it, speed it up. Good, now we're gonna head off into the workout now as soon as we're done here. First move is step touch and bicep curls. I'm gonna use a little bit of weight and you can if you like too, okay? So let's get going as soon as we hear our beep. All right, so back to some step touches. Now back to what we did in the warm up. So you should be used to it by now. We got our minds, our nervous system used to the move there while we warmed up. 
that's it good and curl now tuck your elbows in protect your elbow joints just like you protect your knee joints by contracting your thigh muscles your quads it's important you protect your elbow joints by tucking them into your rib cage you should feel them resting off the, your waist good then go a little faster now if you feel confident with the move if not slow it down take it at your own pace we've got some step backs next and we're going to do some front raises with that that'll be our next move okay now if you want to go really fast you're feeling full of energy now after that warm-up okay just a quick transition now step back get your legs going first you've got a full 55 seconds of this so get that those legs moving first and then front raise good again you can work the room you don't have to be staying on the spot if you have the space use it that's it and lift lift good lift up squeeze those shoulder blades don't just throw your weights all over the place particularly if we're on the light side mind you they're not going to feel light <laughs> by the time we get to the end of this workout i'm feeling them already now knee raises and torso rotations are next good a little bit of abdominals coming next very specific to the tummy I think we have about 10 seconds to go there if I have my timing right there on the stopwatch. Good, you can go faster. Last few seconds. Okay, now get ready. Get the legs going first. I'm out of breath already. Knee raise. Get them going first. And then torso, torso, torso. Rotate. Now I really urge you to pull your belly button in here. Don't start rotating your trunk. If your belly button is not engaged that is so important if you don't like the torso rotations just go with knee raise you can do some shoulder presses okay because I know it's a it is uh, you know you have to be cautious when you're rotating your spine particularly when with speed good so if you're a bit nervous about it you're feeling a bit of a tug on the back leave it out go with the shoulder press above your head now we've got a ham hamstring curl coming next for 10 on one leg then we're going to do 10 squats and then we're going to do a hamstring curl on the other leg okay so get ready for that hamstring curl keep your weights if you're using them so curl two three four five six seven eight nine ten squat it for ten nine eight seven six five chest up for me four three two get ready to change legs and ten nine eight seven six five four three get ready to squat good squat it down two three four five six seven eight nine ten now just alternate because we've only a few seconds left that's it good keep going to hear the beep well done okay now we're going to kick the knee out knee raise and kick knee raise kick hold the weights there out in front of you knee raise and kick knee raise and kick well done that's it kick get your balance this does throw your balance off a little bit if you feel it's throwing your balance off kick out down low put your weights down and hold on to your chair or wall kick good we've got those dumbbell swings coming next so we did practice them in the warm-up if you find using a dumbbell is a little bit too hard you can just do a body weight like you did in the warm-up that's it and kick don't worry if you can't kick this high it does depend on your balance and your hamstring flexibility it's good mind you I do a lot of those toy soldiers in our workouts so uh, we have a good bit of practice with kicking that leg up stretching out those tight out hammies okay now dumbbell swing now I'm going to go with a bit of a heavier weight it's just one of these exercises where you'll get away with a little bit more weight you can really feel the glutes working here 
particularly if you go with a little bit of a heavier weight. That's it. Squeeze, squeeze, good. Now, if you find you're not getting this exercise, just put down the weight and either jog on the spot or do some walking, okay? Practice it when this video ends and uh, you'll get it. It takes a little while. It's not a squat. You'll notice my legs are quite stiff and I'm pushing all the weight into my feet, particularly my heels. But a lot of people find this hard to master. This exercise just takes time. It took me a long time to get it because I'm so used to squatting. What have we got coming next? Oh yeah, alternating pendulums for 20 and into a ski squat. Okay, with or without weights, you decide, get ready. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Keep going, come on. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now close your legs a little bit. Ski squat. That's it. Push those arms back behind you, work your triceps. Good. Just got 10 of these. I think we're on three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alternate for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. Oh, we won't make it. 14, 13, 12, 11, and 10. Just even it out. Now get ready. We're going to walk quickly for a few seconds and then do a push press. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Push press for 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Push press for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Keep going that sequence. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Got loads of time left. Let's get another one in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Come on, let's get some walks in. 1, 2, 3, 4. Stay with the walk. Now we've only got a couple of seconds. There you go. Okay, now next move. Knee raise, arms open wide. Okay. Let's get those arms going. Give me a big hug. That's it. And up. And up. Good. Can you keep your arms up this high for nearly one minute? That is a super challenge. Keep going though. If you can't, bring them down lower or just run the weights by your side and draw those knees up for me. That's it. Now you can bring your legs up a little faster if you want to bring a bit of your pace up a little bit or stay at a slower pace. Squatting upright rows next. Love the next exercise. Again, it's a shoulder burner. That's it. Good. This is really getting me winded. Those weights up high. Just a few seconds, just there now. Woo! Shoulders are screaming. Okay, now ready, squat, upright row. Now you can run them into each, each other. Ooh, don't bump your nose. Whew, good. And up now. You lead with the elbow here with this exercise. Another hard one to do for nearly a full minute. Hey, but we don't mind challenging ourselves, sure we don't? That's good. It's a new year. Time for new challenges. Time to progress our workouts a little bit. That's it, good. Lead with your elbows. Up, back is straight. Knees are traveling out over your shoes and you're not bending at the waist. That's a big no-no when you're squatting down. No bending at the waist. Good. Knee raise and rainbow arms next. Good, that's it, keep going, keep going. Now, if you want to keep the rest of your arms because the rainbow arms are tough. You might need about a 10 second break with this next one. Okay, up and over. Straight arms now. Don't cheat yourself. Straight up to the ceiling. 
up and up bump that ceiling for me and your back is straight you're not leaning back there keep your abs nice and straight you know that broomstick we talk about sometimes that's down your exercise top yeah well that's there right now <laughs> so you cannot lean back that's it good and knee raise come on do you want to go faster now if going fast makes your move sloppy slow down we want good good uh, technique now we're already coming up to the halfway point we are going back to step touch and bicep curls so the shoulders will get a little breather good so work hard for the last few seconds you're just there have to keep going okay step touch oh yeah on the beep i'm forgetting about that rest beep today step touch you don't have to do that rest beep that rest five second rest period if you don't want to just go straight into it if you're full of beans okay now curl it tuck in those elbows you can bend your knees slightly you can go down deeper if you want to if you don't have any knee problems good step it over can you remember what's next yeah your modified lunges and front raises these workouts are like a testing your brain strength as well that's it now go faster if you like we're into round two our energy has found its way good over over with the feet that's it less than 10 seconds and curl get ready to step back now to march it just a transition give the brain a breather okay step back step back now if your shoulders are really jaded leave the weights by your side and just step back or you could even try a hammer curl here okay i'm gonna go with my front raise that's it good and push back keep your heel up for me now don't force your heel into the floor like i said i've said in previous videos that really stresses out the achilles tendon there on your foot that's it good just do that under control situations like calf stretching lift lift let's go faster now I've got those knee raise and torso rotations next now I know you might be getting fatigued now so just really be careful with the next one that's it four seconds three two and time okay knee raise torso rotations get the knees up first knees up knees up that's it abs in there before you start twisting twist 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 good again if you don't like this move just do knee raises run the weights by your side good it's fine if, as long as you're engaging i'm sorry my weights are falling <laughs> this is where a mirror comes in handy if you do have one you should use it because you'd be surprised how your form starts to fail when you tire good do you feel the obliques working there in the rectus abdominis your big long abdominal muscle that runs from your breastbone to your hips pull it in engage don't hold your breath hamstring curl for 10 squat for 10 hamstring curl and then we'll double up the hamstring curl or alternate the legs to finish out oh, heart rates up get ready one two three four five six seven get ready to squat and now one two three four five come on you can do this six seven eight two more get ready for that opposite leg and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and squat it two three four five squeeze your glutes six chest is high two more now we'll just curl we've got a few seconds left so we won't pick a leg we'll just do both okay now get ready this is a knee raise and front kick so knee raise front kick raise front kick don't lean back okay 
keep your chest upright for me use your abdominals to keep your chest upright knee raise front kick opposite leg front kick good and kick out and again I'm using my quadricep my thigh muscle to control my knee so that I don't uh, throw out my knee so contract now that's it and up that's it tighten it up you just put a bit of tension in it if you're not sure how to contract your thigh muscle that's it good lift and if you've got our swings coming I'm gonna go up a little bit in weight good kick out you are feeling a lovely ballistic stretch there for your hamstrings okay with that last move okay let's go right swing glutes one of the best abdominal and glute exercises you'll ever do and so it is like well, when I say it's simple it is hard to master this move because we're so used to bending the knees into a squat but once you do squeeze it hips it's all in the hips and the hamstrings this is a great posterior chain exercise and if you're not sure what your posterior chain is it's the muscles that run down your back down to your feet posterior as the name suggests good and squeeze squeeze push good keep your arms down quite low it's not a shoulder exercise like I always say the arms are just along for the ride really good alternating pendulums are coming oh this it's quite exhausting on your glutes that exercise was oh, particularly for nearly a minute right let's get going opposite leg one two three four five six seven eight nine ten squeeze those outer thigh muscles 13 14 15 16 17 18 get ready for squeeze sk ski squat okay it's a tongue twister let's go Whew. legs a bit closer that's it push back work your triceps get all those muscles involved that's it chest is up you are sticking your bum out behind you and your tailbone is heading down uh, back behind you okay you're not bending like this at the waist you should never see the floor don't look at the floor look up keep your eye on me that's it good well done wow that went really quick push press oh sorry walking's first yeah one two three four five seven eight nine ten one two three four just five here one two three four six seven eight nine ten one two three four five one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i should be doing a push press that's a squat sorry about that two three four five of you just wanted to walk and shoulder press like i just did there go ahead five six seven eight nine ten and one two three working those big muscle groups good and again three four five six seven nine ten one two three four and five good timing great all right knee raise okay knee raise arms open wide now do you feel that lovely stretch on your chest as those dumbbells open out wide those hands open wide yeah it's great don't overdo it though you don't want to uh, um, strain any muscles there in your upper body now keep a slight bend in your elbow that really helps you to take pressure off the elbow joint you can get those knees now to go a little bit faster if you want to or stay at a slower pace if you feel like you can focus more on the exercise it depends on your experience some people are able to just switch their brain off and do the exercises automatically because they're so used to them and other people have to think when there's combinations like this. A couple of seconds to go, you're gonna be so glad to rest, rest those arms. Not for long though, Whew. squatting upright row. Just keep the legs going because the heart rate's up a bit. Squat, upright row. Squat, upright row, good. Lead with those elbows. 
and up. Now, do you feel what muscles are working here apart from the ones of the legs? They're kind of obvious. What's working in your upper half? Yeah, you feel there at the behind your neck, your trapezius, your rhomboids, your posture muscles. I love the upright row. It gets, it's an exercise that gets a lot of criticism for being bad for your shoulders, but I think if you go with a light enough weight, you'll stay safe with it. That's it, good, or even body weight, but it, it's great. You can really feel this working, those big muscles that lie between your shoulder blades. Keep your chest upright now for me and press the weight into your feet. That's it, good, you're doing a great job. Well done, good. Knee raise, round rainbow arms. Our arms are going to be killed today. Now, we're gonna finish out. Time goes so fast, I'm wondering, are we done? But we are, after this. Good. Down. That's it, good. Keep going, come on. And up nice and high. Oh, my arms are so jaded. Good work. Keep going. Not long now. A couple of seconds. I think we've, yeah, I'm missing one. I don't know if I skipped one, but I'm gonna add in a, one more exercise at the end. Okay, now, yeah, one more to go. Right, let's get going with a march. Okay, and we'll add in our push press. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Push press for one, two, three, four, and five. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And one, two, three, four, five. That's it, good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, and one, two, keep going, come on, three, four, and five, good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can we get them in? Come on, one, two, three, four, come on, get your last one in. Five, well done, brilliant. Okay, stop that. All right. Good work, good work. Let me turn that off. Now, yeah, it was a great work and I really enjoyed that. Just uh, do a light step touch across the room just to let your heart rate come back down. Oh, that was great. Feeling good after that, feeling energized, feeling ready to, to go and do another workout. Okay, and arms over to the side. Now, just before we finish up, we'll do a few cool down stretches. I'll say goodbye to you. <laughs> and I hope you're enjoying these workouts. And thank you very much for working out with me and all, sending me all your likes and your comments. It's great. It's really, really helping the channel to grow on YouTube. The algorithm just loves uh, engagement. So that's great. Okay, now let's stretch out those uh, calf muscles. Now again, you can do this at a door if you like. Okay, you don't have to do it... Um, like the way I'm doing it here. Pull your belly button in and I'm going to, now if you do this at the door, you're obviously not going to get the upper body stretch. So just to save time, I'm going to stretch out my upper back. So I want you to straighten your arms as much as you can. Press your foot into the floor there behind you. Make sure your feet are facing a 12 o'clock position as always. And now I want you to protract your shoulder blades. Usually I say retract, but now I want you to open them wide to stretch out those traps and rhomboids. Good work. Okay. Switch around. Again, watch your toes. Even when you put them in 12, they do tend to um, start rotating. So just keep an eye on that. This, again, this is where a mirror comes in handy. Find that balance, belly button in. Good. Now lean forward slightly at the, the waist and you'll feel a, a nice uh, stretch coming into the calf. Put a bit of pressure on the calf. Get the calf down first. 
slight bit of pressure pressed into the ground slightly and I see myself my toe rotating now concentrate on the upper half that you have the lower half down ah, it's a lovely stretch you can feel the tension going out of your upper body keep your neck relaxed good that's it and just hold okay now release out of it gently let's do some stretches for the neck so i'm just going to do some neck rotations and you'll notice i'm not going bringing my head back behind me it's a little bit stressful on the neck so just be careful if you're if you're stretching your neck don't you, you know it's just be careful if you do a full neck rotation it can be a little stressful on the discs in your spine good now if this makes you feel dizzy either stop try go going slower or just stop all together now put a bit of pressure on your head not much abs in tight use your hand to push pretend you're pushing something down into the floor and just a little bit of pressure on your neck that's it and you'll feel a nice stretch running from your ear down to your shoulder good and then gently come back to the middle always center up and then do the other side and again you should feel a nice stretch here in the neck push your hand down into the ground this is a lovely stretch you can feel tension really leaving your body that's it press down good don't forget when you're kind of doing more than one thing with your stretches you can forget about one body part so focus on one part then go back up and focus on the other part keep going back and forth between the two Come back to the middle now tummy muscles in don't do this stretch without engaging tilt your pelvis back even a tiny bit behind you just a small bit and i want you to touch either side of your room <laughs> not not uh, literally but you know what i mean if you can you're doing great good and you feel that stretch there in your obliques here your tummy muscles going into your rectus abdominis that long sheet of muscle that goes from your breastbone down to your pubic bone good that's it reach center reach do you notice i'm coming back to the middle over that's it good get all those cracks out now you're probably finding oh my gosh my arms i can't hold them up for very much longer after that workout today so if that's you you can do the same thing just resting your hands on your hips i can still feel a lovely stretch there let's open our legs wide now we try our inner thigh stretch if you have a small exercise step you can put your hands on it if you find going to the floor is too intense or a coffee table stack up some bath towels uh, fill up a backpack a chair even if you, if you can't get down very far at all now do you notice my legs are straight okay there's no bend in the knee just a slight bend because you never want to be stressing out your joints but pretty much straight so straight limbs for stretching always remember that then you've got to remember you've got to allow the the tension to wear off if you're not allowing the tension to wear off you'll never ever progress with stretching and that's why you've got to hold it for at least a minimum of 30 seconds and work up to about 60. I can start feeling I can feel the tension wearing off a little bit and it's allowing me to my shoes are sliding all over this floor so I'm kind of naturally moving into a deeper stretch that's it but you should allow that tension to wear off and then progress your stretching okay walk your feet in a little bit I'm going to turn to the side again raise your hands up if you're finding this too hard reach up to the ceiling now do you notice my back leg it's important that you keep that um, straight okay so try not to let it dip down to the floor straighten it and come back down now this is more like kind of like a mobility type uh, stretching here I'm sort of moving through it quickly and then I want you to reach up that's it good reach up feel that nice stretch in your shoulder oh don't forget that back leg so I do have to remind myself as well uh, two hands on the floor feel that lovely stretch in your inner thigh as you just hold here good back up and then we'll jump or walk the legs in 
and do a few circles and thank you very much for joining me today and I will see you back here really really soon. Bye bye.